I was ice driver for the tour. Cleo was there. Everybody was there. I'm gonna give y'all my size. I know it's not really my, none of my business, but you're in my vehicle, so it's my business. She finished performing. This, the production crew, yo, the production crew and the management are some weirdos, bro. Like, they're weirdos or on Ice Spice side. They're weirdos because they say one thing and then the next day they don't have it there no more. Like, you can tell, like, the more you come, the less they're giving the girl, giving Cleo. Like, it's like they keep taking away from her less and less and less to make her look be less and less with the concert. Welcome back to Industries TV and today we're still talking about Ice Spice and Cleo. Now it seems like the walls is crumbling down fast around Ice Spice because more people have came out to expose her nasty ways including her driver and a DJ. Now disclaimer, I don't know if the driver's story is 100% true or true at all but it's entertainment so we gonna entertain it but the DJ I believe 100% because he came with proof of him on stage DJing for Cleo sets. So with that being said, let's get to this first clip, which is the driver. And then we are gonna get to the second clip, which is the DJ. I was ice driver for the tour. Cleo was there. Everybody was there. I'm gonna give y'all my side. I know it's not really my, none of my business, but you're in my vehicle, so it's my business. I had to drive around ice, Cleo, and some little dude with orange hair. I think he was like her dresser or something. They had an artist, you know, designer down. So they booked me. They needed a black truck. They booked me for the first week of the tour. You know, we out here in Texas, it's hot. I got the air going, I got the cool seats going. So, you know, they booked your boy. So I was the one that Cleo was mad at. She wanted me to carry her bags up to the penthouse. Mind you, the penthouse where they were staying, it had like 50 floors. The elevators were not working. All right, so let me just say this. Now, dude said he was the one that Cleo was mad at because he didn't want to take her bags upstairs, but he took Ice Spice bags upstairs. Now, this is why I don't believe this alleged driver because Cleo said it was Ice Spice security, not a driver, Ice Spice security who didn't pick up her bags and didn't want to take her bags upstairs. And not only that, he stated that they stayed in a hotel with 50 floors and the elevators wasn't working. 50 floors and the elevators wasn't working and he had to walk up 50 flights with ice spice bags now i want y'all to think about that let's get back to these clips so i took it upon myself i took ice stuff upstairs ice already had like 20 bags i had told cleo hey if you want me to take your bags upstairs it'll be an extra charge cleo kept screaming at me that she's an artist she's a gold selling artist she got all these plaques and that she don't care what I'm talking about. I need to take her bags up to the room. I call Spice on the phone. Spice like, you don't need to bring that black stuff up to the room. She can carry her own stuff. She ungrateful. I said, I don't got nothing to do with her being ungrateful. I don't know her. I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, your stuff got to the bag and your entourage, they can carry their own stuff. Mind you, I already went up 50 flights of steps for Ice Spice like four times. She had like 20 bags. Mind you, I'm running late. I got to pick up another artist. I was just dedicated to drop them off and take them to their tour in the black truck. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna call BS on the driver cause he just said he went up 50 flights at least 2-3 to three times with these people bags. Which is a total lie. I know it's a total lie. You know what I'm saying? And I hope y'all don't believe that. But we gonna go ahead and we gonna get to the DJ section and then y'all tell me what y'all think down below in the comment section of that one. I'm gonna let that one play and then I'm gonna talk. Alright? I'm like bro, I don't really care about that kind of but I've been complaining before she even like popped up on the internet. So I'm not here. I'm not one of people to really be jonesing and talking. But all I'm going to say is when we was doing the shows, it was kind of funny how when we got there, first of all, when I got there, I did the show in Jersey. That was my first show I did. I did the one in Jersey. When I did the show in Jersey, we got, I got to the door and, and not only was it my name, list to come inside and dj like for for cleo's performance cleo wasn't even on the bill like on at the door her name wasn't at the door her manager had to call um this the production the production had to call um ice spice and the manager just to get us in like i'm like so i'm not even gonna lie i'm looking like this was her friend like this your friend 
and you're not even you're not even on the list at the door. That's crazy. Like, and not only be that, they said the show starts at eight o'clock, right? So, but we had to be there by seven thirty. Something about us having to be there by seven thirty that the performance is gonna be, you know, like maybe it's gonna be like a um like a you know, first of all, didn't even let us do sound check. That's another thing. They didn't let us do sound check. We had to beg to do a sound check because we literally did a sound check ten minutes before we performed. That's crazy. Like literally. They made Cleo perform while people was walking in, bro. That's crazy. And I, yo, I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, yo, bro, like if the show starts at eight, why don't she performing at seven thirty? Yo, moving forward, bro. Moving forward. So we then I look. I ain't gonna lie. We got inside. Yo, why Cleo? What? She didn't even have a dressing room. Shorty didn't even have a dressing room. Yo, we had to stand outside the um dressing rooms. And it's yo, and it smell like feet. The whole hallway smell like feet. But that's another story. That's another story. I ain't saying nothing. They ain't my business. I, ain't, I, I mean, I'm just the DJ. Yo, bro. Secondly, they didn't even have t bro. They expected Cleo to have turntables. So when I got there, they're like, you got your turntables. I'm like, why, why do I need turntables for? Like, it's a concert. It's this, this, don't you have turntables here? Like your whole production should have turntables. They go, that's right. That's, oh, they go, that's riots, turntables. We're gonna, um, you, you know, I'm, I'm like, bro, well, I'm her DJ and you know, I need turntables and like I could go to my car and get my turntables, but that's like a two mile walk because there was no parking. So by the time I would go to my house and get turntables, I come back, the show would be over for Cleo. So, move, yo, so then they said they had an axe riot. So I'm like, who the, who the riot? So, I'm like, they, uh, yo, I'm not trying to play nobody. I didn't know what it was, bro. I didn't even know. I thought that was just the, the, the producer or some sh I didn't know, I didn't know he was a real, like, DJ. I didn't even know he was a real DJ. So, Anyway, one thing I won't lie, he was nice enough to let me use his turntables because they was really trying to like act like they could not let her use his turntables or her DJ. So I'm like, basically, that's like low key sabotaging Shorty whole production, like her whole performance. Because like, how do you tell somebody they could perform, but the DJ bring their turntable? I have never been to a concert and the DJ who was performing. It was like four or five performers and the DJ had to literally bring. So what do you expect me to bring the speakers for the concert too? But whatever. That's another story, bro. Moving forward. Yo, let me tell you all of So we did the performance and I'm telling the guy like, yo, you know, like, um, for Cleo's performance, do you have, do you have lighting? Like, do you have like lighting y'all can use? Like, because so Cleo's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yo, like this is should, like be on top of because they should know what lighting to keep when you perform. So, you know, I've done this before. So I'm like, you know, and plus I feel like she's new to it. So maybe she's a little blind to certain. So I can lie as a man and as a DJ, like most DJs going to make sure you're going down right because not, whoever's not going to hold you down, the DJ is going to hold you down because the DJ looks bad too. If it look good for him. You feel me? So then I had to tell him, I'm like, yo, bro, like, you know, is there a light? He's like, oh, what lights? I'm like, bro, like, bro. Like, can you like put like a blue light while she does this song and then a red light while she does this or two since you don't want to do or help her for just put her in a red light and call it a day and put a little spotlight on her they did it i'm not gonna lie the, the show went good this the one in this the one in jersey yo so then we get backstage right i'm backstage i'm like why are we still backstage like we had i had to stand on the corner somewhere and not be seen like so i'm like all right whatever Ice Spice comes out, perform. Well, no, Cash Cobain comes out, performs, whatever. Then Ice Spice comes out, and performs, and they tell us they're like, stay on the side and don't, don't like leave it here. So I'm looking like, bro, is this her friend? Cause like, why the f they not jacking none of her staff? Like they just, they just, they just looking like they just throwing her in the corner. They're not even gonna lie, bro. If your friend performs, I don't give a. F I've seen this happen. I've seen. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen celebrities like have friends perform or special guests come and open up for them. And I've seen them sit on the side and like, pat, you know, like shout them out, like, or whatever. Like, I'm looking like, I'm not even gonna lie. Cleo kept posting Ice Spice while they were in the 
in um the uh Ice Spice changing room and that. So I'm looking like um why 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 is Shorty not not posting her? Like she posted mad pictures of Ice Spice. And I'm looking like, wow, that's crazy. Like she's posting her, but Shorty not post her, but that's her business. Like I ain't I ain't gonna hate that, but that's crazy too. So long story short, the the thing is when we went to when we DJ when I DJ Philly, no when I DJ in New Jersey the next day, like wait, wait, not don't even finish that. Hold on. The same night that I Spice performed, right? Cleo when the, when everything was done at the concert, right? When everything was done at the concert, Cleo was upstairs in like her change room. And um what do you call it? When she was in her room, she sent one of her, like we downstairs, right? When the whole show's over, right? They had like like 15 boxes of pizzas. Like cane, sodas, drinks, everything. So we sitting there like, and I'm downstairs with Cleo's manager, right? And her, his manager her manager has like a little daughter. She's like, I don't know, she looks like she's like I'd say she's eight years old. Eight years old. With Cleo's manager. Tell me why the production people Staff management, all of them. He, the guy, um, what was it? When we went downstairs, oh, oh, they're, they're eating pizza. Keep in mind, it's like 15 boxes of pizza. And it's like four staff members sitting there. So then Cleo sends one of her friends. I don't know what it was. I think, I think it was the dude who dresses Cleo. I know it was a boy and a girl. So they were with Cleo and I believe they're like her stylist or her like semi management type team or like, I don't know, her team. So, um, one of them went downstairs and they're like, yo, you know, Cleo wants to get a, a slice of pizza. And, um, you know, the, that, you know, these, the, uh, they said, and I couldn't even believe, I was looking like, yo, bro, like, are we really even, are you really on the bill? So they told her like, no, it's for production and management and, uh, it's Ice Spice's team. So I'm like, this her team. So I'm like, ain't Cleo in, um, in the, um, in, in, in Ice Spice's uh, changing room and her with her so I'm looking like if she's in her dressing room why she can't get a slice of pizza <laughs> yeah she couldn't even get a slice of pizza my yo I couldn't stop laughing I'm like yo what the well punishment <laughs> I'm over here like son drove to Jersey one hour couldn't even get a slice of pizza yo I know she remember that yo, yo if, if you watching it you remember that yo yo I couldn't stop yo I wanted to I was trying not to laugh bro I'm trying not to laugh I'm like yo wow wait so she just performed and there's 15 boxes of pizza and only one eating it is the white people. The only like three or four white people eating the pizza, right? The only white staff, keep in mind, it's the only white staff I've seen. So they sitting there like, yo, look, she can't, this is not for her. Like this is for Ice Spice's team. Bro, I was rolling, bro. I was done, I was done. Second, moving on, right? Why Cleo's manager had an eight year old daughter that was sitting there and I guess she wanted a slice of pizza and I guess he was like, I'm gonna get you a slice of pizza before they even said that to Cleo and shut him down. Yo, they caught him giving Shorty, the little girl, a piece, slice of pizza, and they started bugging like, yo, yo, that's not for you guys. So the, the manager, he gets props for this. Then, yo, this, this ain't for me. This is for a little girl. This is for my daughter. I'm Cleo's manager. It's just a slice of pizza, bro. Yo, they didn't even want to give the little girl the slice of pizza, bro. He had to, he had to, he bought a pizza, bro. He just took it on some like gangster. Like, my daughter's gonna eat pizza. It's not that serious. Like, it's 18 boxes of pizza, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, moving forward, bro. I don't know if I, I forgot where I was at, but there's so much happening. So, so anyway, if you want to move on past that, that was crazy. So the next, what, like, I think it was the next day. The next day I had a DJ in Philly. I had a DJ in Philadelphia. You feel me? And, um, so I, I I drive two f hours to Philadelphia, bro. Tell me why I get there, right? And they tell me, yo, um, what happened? Uh, Spice, the the show was gonna start late tonight because Ice Spice is gonna just start it late. So it's supposed to start, I think, at like eight thirty or or something like that. Bro, I get there like seven thirty or something because I know 
that they said that um Cleo keeps performing at 7 30. I'm like, why the f performing like an hour before the concert, bro? So I'm like, whatever. I get there, we get there. I ain't gonna lie, they make sound check. That's on my own. Make sound check. But I mean, the performance was so fast, and it's not like they really gave a f it that much. And she was, she was doing a thing. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, well, the day before, the day before performance, she, so the next day, the day I come down Philadelphia. So we get on stage. Cleo tears it up. Keep in mind, the place in Philadelphia, every concert has different stages. Like every every city had a different stage. The one in Jersey wasn't humongous, but it was big. The next, the next, when we got to when I got to Philly, when we got to Philly, stage was humongous. It was like like some hot 97 summer jam. Right? So we get there, I get there, we do she does her performance. She, um whatever. Um what, what happened, bro? Oh, after the performance, usually we, you know, you can stand up. Oh yeah, when she finished performing, the the production crew, yo, the production crew and the management are some weirdos, bro. Like they're weirdos, or on Ice Spice side, they're weirdos because they say one thing and then the next day they don't have it there no more. Like you can tell, like the more you come, the less they're giving the girl, giving Cleo. Like it's like they keep taking away from her less and less and less. To make her look be less and less with the concert. So I'm looking like, you know what, girl there, just kick off the concert. Like, clearly, cause like we we you know, people out here trying to like make names for themselves, here trying to make sure the performances is dope. But check it. Yo, I'm all over the place. The ADHD's kicking at you for me. Yo, why when I got to Philly, right? When before she even performed, I forgot. See, so much happening, I don't even be like remembering. It was like a month ago. So while well, when I got to Philly, they kept telling me, oh, go to the front, say your name at the door, say you're with Cleo's team. Or I Spice and Cleo. So I said, all right, I got to the front. Keep myself big at the hall. I get there, the front, mad embarrassing. They're like, oh, you're not on the list. I'm like, what do you mean I'm on the list? Um, Cleo's performing. Like, I'm DJ Class Act. I, I just DJed yesterday, like for the same. She's like, no, you're not on the list. You gotta call somebody. You gotta go around over there, around the corner from the from the from the in place. Then I go around the corner. I go around the corner. I sit there, I go there. A different type of security is there. I'm like, hey, I'm the DJ. Oh no, you gotta go around over there because the people. This is for like Ice Spice people. You gotta go around the corner for like the other regular admission. I'm like, bro, I'm the DJ for one of the performance, bro. Like they were treating me like I was there for the Ice Spice concert when I was there yesterday. Yo, bro. Then I go around the front and get to the front. The lady's like, "Yo, yo, why?" That's why I like black. People. Some bouncer walked up to me, said, "Yo, fella, if you want to get inside, you gotta go around. I don't know why they're not telling you, but the staff gotta go around. It's a little back alley." I'm like, "Yo, good luck, bro. Philly, you know, cheesesteak." So I went around, feeling. I get to the door, bro. The same. Security that was at the concert yesterday that that was working at a whole nother place. We're sitting there. The security guard who gave me a wristband, everything. He looking at me and I'm like, "What's up, bro? You know, I'm here for the, you know, I missed we here yesterday. Yo, why they gave me a name tag like as if I was a visitor, treating me like paparazzi? My, I'm like, yo, bro. Even my name tag, the name tag. You know, I might VIP or with staff." They said Cleo's help. Said Cleo's help. The last time I saw help was in the help. Bro, I was tight. I'm looking like, bro, why the f my name tag say Cleo's help? Bro, who the f does sh that, bro? Then I'm looking like, yo, bro, I done drove two hours from New York to come to this city, bro. And these beating me like in help. Cleo. <laughs> Cleo was the help. <laughs> I promised I wasn't gonna laugh in this. Oh, they was treating her like help. God, she didn't even have, didn't even have wristbands. Gave her like, you know, when you go to the hospital and they give you a visitor pass. They gave her, they gave me a visitor pass. Yo, I was tight. I get on stage, bro. Now I'm tight. I'm more tight. He's like, yeah, you gotta hurry up, go to stage. I'm like, she's performing right now. 
I get on, she performs. Show. This is in Philly, bro. She, show. Long story short, then I, they tell us, oh, after you perform, you know, you can go over there on the side of the stage. There was a bigger area this time for the side, side of the stage. I wish I could show you the video. There was a bigger area on the side of the stage where, like, you know, you can go because they clearly wasn't backstage if he wasn't part of Ice Spice team. Like, you weren't part of Ice Spice team. Even you were not back there, bro. I'm not even lying. Like, Cleo literally was in hallways, like walking around, bro. <laughs> yo, I'm looking like, yo, bro, she need to just get in the car with me and come back to New York, bro. Like, bro. So anyway, long story short, bro. Now I'm standing on the side of the stage. Cash Cobain performs. His 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 his, his entourage is there. We all on the side of the stage. Where you can't be seen, like you on the side of the stage. It's big. They even made an area for people on the side of the stage. Keep in mind, I said that. An area for people on the side of the stage. Yo, now Ice Spice is about to headline and come out, right? It, it's so bad that the security knew that the was going on. And they like, yo, my man, I don't want to tell you this, but Ice Spice don't want nobody on, on the stage. Everybody has to watch from the back of the, from, from the audience. So I'm like, but Ice Spice is, um, I Spice is Cleo's friend. You know, I'm with Cleo. I'm the DJ. Like, we, you know, you see me. Like, I'm, I ain't bothering nobody. I'm just sitting on the side. Like, I ain't even like video recording like a fan. Like, oh, I Spice. I Spice. None of that, shit, bro. So I'm looking like, bro, like, what do you mean? We all have to get off the stage? Yeah, only her peoples are allowed on the stage, bro. That right there, that's what I was like, bro. Like, that's mad disrespectful, bro. I had to watch the whole performance off the stage like they told us to get off couldn't even be behind stage in an area my guess visitor pass wasn't working my, i ain't got no wristband yo son they treated her like yo like i don't even know i was just looking like bro are they really friends like the whole time kept saying like bro like like shorty don't got like no pull in this whole concert and she promoting it she she she's Throwing pictures of her friend, I'm like, yo, that's just me, bro. The whole me, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I saw the whole performance. Man, I didn't even stay for the rest of the performance. I'm like, what the should Ice Spice perform for? Like, I'm here for Cleo, but I'm looking like clearly that ain't her friend. Like, I'm looking like, bro, like the way you treated, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, the way she was treated, bro. The way we were treated, the way I was treated. I'm like, so anything she said was true. I'm being real honest with you. There's a lot going on. And I'm class act and I'm out of here. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Now I could tell y'all 100 percent the DJ sounds 100 percent believable. Way more than that driver. The DJ had proof, he had receipts, he had videos with him on the stage with Cleo on set. The driver had nothing. So I want y'all to stop being so gullible and believing all these people about Ice Spice. I don't like Ice Spice and I know a lot of y'all don't like Ice Spice, right? Now I don't like Ice Spice for my own reasons, but I'm not going to be out here spreading lies. If I don't believe it, I'm going to let y'all know I don't believe it. But if I believe it, I'm going to let y'all know I believe it. But it's up to y'all to do y'all own homework and research and see if y'all believe it, if they got receipts or not. That's all I'm saying. Don't hate on the person because everybody else hating on them. If you like the person, you like the person. You know what I'm saying? If you genuinely don't like the person, you don't like the person. So this is what it is. I'm just trying to keep it 100% real with y'all. All right? But anyway, with that being said... Make sure y'all smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on.